This is Countdown CDP TV, program number six. Stand by, John. I wish I could express how painful it is, you know, coming off drugs like that. I wish I could, you know, maybe do a film or something and show people how horrible it is. Because if they saw that side of it, they definitely wouldn't get involved. Boy George speaks out exclusively later in the show. Plus tonight, Beastie Boys, Eric Clapton, The Damned Live, New Hoodoo Gurus, Huey Lewis in the News, New Cindy Lauper, Pepsi and Shirley, The Style Counts. Oh, welcome to the show, we're The Damned. And later on, you'll be hearing us singing our new record called Jiggle. You'll also be hearing the Beastie Boys singing Fight, Fight for Your Right to Party. And also, uh, coming up next is the uh, Style Council with a new song called It Didn't Matter. Good to have you back, guys. I'm really, really excited to see you. You're looking great. You really are. <laughs> bit, huh? No, no, come on. Who needs sleep? A guy like you, you're a creative person. You look, you look nine years old. It's fabulous. You look really good. I'm excited to have you here, really. Oh, All of you. I mean, really, you're a group. You're, you're a fabulous group. I mean, I haven't seen anything you've done for a long time. Presumably, you've been on holiday. Is that right, Nick? Uh, uh, Rick? Yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, I'm, I'm so excited, really, from here. This is true. I really am pleased to work with you. And because you're a bit of a group, let's, let's throw around some ideas about what we're going to do today. I've got a few ideas about uh, No, excuse thing. me, darling. No, I, I still love you, really. I do love you. But uh, you do your job, you know? You do your job, and I'll do mine, OK? I still love you. So let's go for a take, shall we? OK? Yeah, brilliant. Three, two, one, zero. Harry, Q lights. Q grams. Cue the band. Thank you. 
was the Style Council, but it didn't matter. Watch out for Cindy Lauper's latest and Dead or Alive's Pete Burns Out. Now, let's go live with The Damned and Gigolo. Some resurrection is no conclusion. Some fun invention, but no invention in the night. They become just what they want. One imitation, yeah, just like Roger Moore. Tell us what they say, they tell us what to do. They're out in fooling me and you. They're only fooling me and you. You know I ain't, you know I ain't, I am the Jigger I want. You know I ain't, you know I and secret agents, cold and deadly tricks, the prince of darkness from the hard place. Yeah, the spiders web of intrigue, silent scream of dread. Oh, where have they gone? Lost in pity and despair. Please tell us what they with Gigolo, and now let's go with the first nominations for the Countdown Music and Video Awards. For Best Debut Album, Crowded House, I'm Talking for Bear Witness, and Wawani. The best group performance in a video will be awarded to one of these. Crowded House, In Excess, In Excess and Jimmy Barnes, Mental as Anything, or perhaps Pseudo Echo. And your most popular female performer is Kate Sobrano, Grace Knight, or Jenny Morris. Stay tuned for more nominations in the Countdown Music and Video Awards, and now at number 18 on the national chart, here they are, the Shantuzies. Hi, we're the Shantuzies. I'm Angie. I'm Eve. She's Tot. She's Ellie. And later on in the show, you're going to see a clip from Huey Lewis and the new one from the Hoodoo Gurus. And now we've got Eric Clapton with It's In The Way That You Use It. Mm -hmm. It's in the way that you use it. It comes in and
Clapton axing his way to 33. Let's go with more Countdown Music and Video Award nominations. For Best Songwriter, Neil Finn and Paul Kelly. The Johnny O'Keefe Award for Most Promising New Talent, Big Pig, Cattle Truck, Ups and Downs, Mannequins and Kings of the Sun. Best Video is out of clips by Crowded House, John Farnham and two from In Excess. And best producer could be Charles Fisher, Ross Fraser, or Mark Opitz. Watch out for Boy George on the evils of drugs, and what's going on for Cindy Lauper. Welcome, Matt. I'm Matt Johnson from The The, and you're about to see Slow Train to Dawn, which is a uh, track from my long-form video, Infected, which is basically about AIDS, lust, terrorism, trust, nuclear proliferation, and spiritual salvation. The three big countdown music and video awards. Best of who single, Boom Crash Up a Great Wall. Crowded House, Mean to Me, Big Pig, Hungry Town, and Wawa Knee Stimulation. Is the best male performance in a video by Jimmy Barnes, John Farnham, Paul Kelly, or Dave Mason of The Reels? And who is your most popular male performer, Brian Cannon or Michael Hutchins? Find out on the night of the countdown music and video awards. Now, Something Dead or Alive is about to talk to you in your house. I mean, Banana Armour's Venus was... Yeah. A direct, I mean, they even went in and said to my producer, you want to sound like Dead or Alive? I do, I'm not angry about that, I'm not slagging them. But it, it disheartens me somewhat when people like Kim Wilde can do that record, Set Me Free, with what is like a Dead or Alive production, and find it so easy to have a hit. And so, she's played so much for this new style of music she's invented, and really it was us all along. You were actually starting to have a sound that was very, very a dead or alive sound, and the sound that obviously was going to be copied. Um, we didn't think it would be copied because we didn't think that many people could cope with, with manufacturing that kind of sound because it is a very intricately manufactured sound. It's a lot of contradicting elements and they're all mixed up too high and it, it's a very hard sound. Um, we didn't think other bands would feel um, confident about going out with a sound like that, but due to our success they all did. Right. So now it's become um, like uh, instant Dead Alive records, there's a lot of them going around at the moment. And uh, we get no credit whatsoever, it just disheartens me because the only thing I ever wanted credit for was the music. I never wanted credit for being a wonderful person or a, or a great human being or, or looking peculiar. I just wanted credit for the music, but yet, yet again, that's snatched away from us. Watch out for those beastly beastie boys and a US number one from Huey Lewis. Now back to the four twosies. <laughs> uh, 
Um, there'll be more award nominations coming up and the new one from Cindy Lauper. But right now, here's the Hootie Gurus with their new single, What's My Scene. find out what Molly's seen. Well, I must say, it's great to be home, and I've got to admit that I've unashamedly fallen in love with two albums, and it absolutely confirms my belief that the British and the Irish almost have an edge over any other group in the world. The first of the albums is The Joshua Tree by U2, and what a superb album this is. It certainly is the strongest album to come out of U2. The lyrics are very, very strong. One song which is my favourite, Bullet the Blue Sky, will turn out, I'm sure, to be a classic. But not only that, the production is just something else. Produced by Brian Eno and Daniel Lenoy, and uh, three of the tracks remixed by the master of mixing for rock and roll, Steve Lillywhite. With all those talents together, the U2 fans are going to be more than happy about this album. And what's more, I think it's going to attract a lot of new U2 fans. Uh, the single out, With or Without You, is zooming up the charts, and watch out for this one as well. The Joshua Tree, it's going to be a huge album. And the second album is, this is a complete surprise, I love their first, but they have really 
really mastered the second, and this is simply read with men and women. It's again a great album. I can't rave enough about it. Uh, my particular favourite on this particular album is Love Fire. It's a very reggae number. The right thing, which you saw earlier in the show, in fact, it kicked off the show today. That's a superb number. But uh, yeah, this, this is just a bag full of goodies. Uh, Mick Hucknall, in fact, co-writes two of the songs, Infidelity and Suffer, with uh, a legendary songwriter in Lamont Dozer, who was um, one of the masters of Tamla Motown and wrote some of the classics for Tamla Motown. So all in all, you're going to love this particular album. It was produced by Alex Sadkin, and ironically enough, I caught up with Alex Sadkin in London because he was in the Rack Studios producing Boom Crash Opera. And in fact, I also caught up with the boys, and this is what they had to say about working with Alex and how their forthcoming album is going. Great Mr. Records. Alex Sadkin, the producer, is Marvel's Pants person to work with, and the album's going to be fantastic. And we seem to have more songs than we can shake a stick at. Because we're not at home, we're not distracted with, you know, friends, etc. So our minds are all focused at the, the one project. Right. Making a record. And you sort of forget your peers. Like in Australia, you tend to think of other Australian bands and. Over here, you, you get an international sort of perspective and uh, you forget about that. And you, also, you get a lot of new influences as well. OK, uh, Boom Crash Opera in the studios in London. Talking about London, there's been a lot of fun on the charts uh, over there at the moment. Uh, Boy George is number one. And at number four is Freddie Mercury. And he's done, would you believe, a cover version of an old song called Great Pretender. I never thought anyone would do that. He's done one and it is a great tongue-in-cheek a look at both Queen and himself. So here it is, a sneak preview out soon. Great Pretender, Freddie Mercury. Like a crown Pretend That you're Still around Yeah Ooh. Okay, well there it is, Freddie Mercury and his element and watch out for that because that'll be on the show in the next couple of weeks. Also coming up on the show in the next couple of weeks is a big announcement for a competition and that's something you can't miss out on. But on next week's show we catch up with Billy Idol on the set of Don't Need a Gun. We also have a talk to Roland Gift from Fine Young Cannibals and we have an exclusive interview with Bon Jovi because I tell you what, over in America it's like Beatlemania over there. All right, whilst I was in London, I caught up with Boy George and we had a very honest chat about his past and his present. Just to have you back again Just to hold you once again If there's someone you know That won't let you go And taking it all for granted Then one day someone take I went through a very self-destructive phase and uh, I also got, you know, very confused with what I was doing musically and, you know, my career, everything was going wrong and, you know, people were like throwing insults at us and I just couldn't deal with it, you know. And I think the worst thing was going to New York, really, because yeah. that, you know, that's the sort of place, that's a land of excess, you know, and I went there and sort of got carried away with it all, really. I just forgot about Culture Club, yeah. forgot about being Boy George and just decided that, you know, I would do whatever I wanted. And uh, I found myself in a real trap, you know. Mm. I mean, one of the things which has helped me tremendously is, you know, sort of remembering what good things I've done, you know, what n nice things have happened to me. Yeah. You know, tr and I forgot that for a while. You know, when it all started to go sour, I forgot, like, you know, what it was like in Australia, you know, how, what a nice time I had in Japan. And when I started to remember all that, you know, sort of come back to it, that really helped, you know, me tremendously. And also the kids, you know, the, the fans that sort of, disappeared, mm. all suddenly came back, you know, and, and showed their support. Next week, Boy George talks about AIDS. Well, they used to do silly things with Wham, and now they're out on their own at the top of the UK charts, Pepsi and Shirley.
Countdown Award nominations for Best Album are Crowded House, John Farnham's Whispering Jack, Hunters and Collectors' Human Frailty, and Paul Kelly for Gossip. Your choice for most popular international act is between AHA, Duran Duran, and Madonna. And Best Debut Act nominations are Big Pig, Boom Crash Opera, Crowded House, and Wow I Nee. Coming up, find out who you've nominated for most popular group in the Countdown Music and Video Awards. Andy Lauper's latest and this week's national top 10. And now Huey Lewis climbs Jacob's ladder from 88 to 67.
Now back to those wicked witch queens. Wicked. Now, whatever you do, don't switch off, because coming up, we have the top ten. But right now, we've got the Beastie Boys, and you've got to fight for your right to party! <laughs> Daddy are gone. And don't make a mess. Do you like parties? Yeah. We can invite all our friends and have soda and pie. Yeah! I hope no bad people show up. Kick it! Here's the final section of the Countdown Music and Video Award nominations. The best single, Don't Dream It's Over. You're the Voice, Before Too Long and The Dead Heart. Best female performance in a video, Kate Sobrano from I'm Talking, Doro Mee's Debbie Conway and Jenny Morris. Most popular group is out of In Excess, Pseudo Echo, Uncanny X-Men and Wawani. And who will win the coveted Countdown Award for Most Outstanding Achievement? Find out on Sunday, May the 17th. Let's go top ten. Peter Gabriel and Kate Bush. So many men, so many men, no one needs. Don't give up, cause you have friends. Don't give up, you're not the only one. K. 
cameo. It's time for us to go. I hope you've enjoyed the show, because we certainly have. And we'll leave you with this week's number one, which is Aretha Franklin and George Michael. Knew you were waiting. Good night. I went through
This is CDP TV. No problem.